What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games we're checking out Adam RPG. Another Fallout-esque game that takes place. Fallout meets Stalker. That takes place in the post-apocalypse of Russia. I don't know why Russia is always getting post-apocalypse, but I feel like that's something in common between like American culture and Russian culture. Is that a lot of our stories and tales happen after the apocalypse. I assume it's because of our shared history with the Cold War and our lingering terror for like 60 years that our leaders were going to nuke the hell out of each other for whatever random reason while we the lay people were just kind of sitting around being like, I don't want to fight anybody. So anyways, let's start a new game, shall we? And we've got our character over here. Her name is Anna. Oh, we can pick like a different picture too. Oh, cool. So we can like pick who we want to be out here. I like that guy, Piotr. That's a good name right there. I will call him Piotr. He will be strong. We've got to assign some stats right now. I don't know what the good stuff is, but I do enjoy assigning stats. So we have two distinctions, really. We can pick dist- Oh, nice. Okay. We'll pick those out in a minute. Actually, let's do our distinctions first. So we are drop-dead crazy gorgeous, but your own sex is jealous of us. Okay, so opposite people like us better. People of our gender hate us because they hate us because they ain't us. Okay. Uh, child prodigy. We're pretty good. It's hard for us to learn something new. Okay. So we get like extra, we get extra attributes, but we gain less XP. Uh, we're an anabolics fan, and so we like drugs. We can be a technophobe, so we can be a bit of a ludite. And we've got diplomat. Apparently we suck at fighting if we take diplomat. We can be an ascetic. Okay. So twice the time to get hungry, plus 10 to survival, minus 1 to strength, minus 7 to carrying weight. Be a slick dealer, a savage hunter. Okay. We can skin animals without a knife. Oh, really? That's pretty good. You're unlucky most of the time, but when luck comes your way, you win big. Hmm. We could be a leader. So we get speechcraft, first aid for every single follower we get that. So that's a stacking bonus. And our followers get a bonus out of that one, too. We lose attention and we lose dexterity, though. What does dexterity do? Dodge blows, combat speed, accuracy, and melee combat, as well as lockpicking and theft skills. Okay. I just want to go through all this stuff and figure out what the goodies are. We're a shooting gallery fan, so we can be really, really good at guns and whatnot. But we lose melee for that. All right can be a lone wolf, so when we're by ourselves, we get a bunch of bonuses. But if we take any followers, we start taking negatives. We've got Cursed Sniper. So we're really, really good if we do aimed shots. But we lose a lot if we do normal shots. Okay, we can Circus Education and Old Carney taught you the craft. All right. We've got Glutton. We get hunger a lot faster. A uh, hobby engineer, we like tinkering and technology, so we lose attention. What does attention do? Attention is for our ranged combat and accuracy. All right. So I'll probably go with, like, I don't even know what the two of these that I want are. I don't know what the right choices are. I guess there's not really any right choices. I don't know if we even have to take these or if we can just leave ourselves... I'll take... I'll take engineering. That'll make us good with technology and tinkering. Is there like a repair skill in here? Or is that like covered with technology? It's probably tinkering, right? Yeah, I don't see anything that's repair inside of here. So I assume tinkering is folded in with repair. I'm going to even those two out so that it's not quite so bad. I want to be a shooter. So I'm going to take... What does that do? The amount of skill points you get each level? I want to be a little bit smarter. Oh, I like how it gives you a designation. So, like, you're smart, you're resourceful, you're stupid. Gotcha, you're comatose. I like how it gives you a little description right there. I've always enjoyed that in games that tell you, like... So, for example, in Shadowrun, which is a tabletop RPG, when you have, like, your stats, they give you an example for each point. Like, four means you're a trained professional, you know? And eight means that you're, like, a god. Like, you're one of the most skilled people on the planet at that skill. Like, you're top tier. You're probably one of the best people in the country when it comes to that skill skill if you've got like you know 12 dice in something you're probably very 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 good at it to the point where people will seek you out for special treatment I don't really care about strength affects every action in a small amount so we can be slightly lucky okay 
We can be a nice person. Do we want to be a nice person or do we want to be a bad guy? A bad man. So what are we getting negatives from right there? Okay, I see it now. So we're getting slight negatives from attention on that one right there. Honestly, I feel like you can have better stats if you don't take a distinction. I wonder if you have to take a distinction. I kind of want to find out. Let's apply our points real fast, and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to take pistols up to 40. I'm going to take tinkering up to 40. Take that up to 40. I would like for our speech craft to be pretty good. Like, I'm a big talker in games like this. I find that, like, why am I so good at martial arts? Like, why am I, like, crazy good at martial arts right now? I don't see anything in here that would make me really good at martial arts, but for some reason, I have a 60 in martial arts, and everything else is, like, terrible, and I don't know why my martial arts is so good. Are the characters different? No, the character stats are the same. So I was wondering if the characters maybe had specializations or something, but it looks like you just start out with really good martial arts to avoid that beginning of Fallout 2 problem where if you dump all your points into everything but melee, you can't get out of the tutorial. I don't know if you guys ever played Fallout 2, but one of the big flaws with that game is that the beginning of the game forced you to take at least some level of melee competency because otherwise you couldn't pass the tutorial. I think there was another way around it, but it's been so long since I played Fallout 2, I don't remember. Yeah, we're not going to take a distinction, I don't think. I think we'll just take what we have right now. A lot of these come with considerable negatives to go along with the somewhat marginal positives. And so we'll play on, yeah, normal mode's good. Our clothes kit. We can be army or we can be an action hero. Oh, yeah, let's be an action hero. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want my appearance to be. I'm going to be like Rambo out here. I want the bandana and everything. I want to be ready. I want the world to understand. I came to use a minigun and mow everybody down. You have a peculiar dream. Red stars glow in the sky and giant mushrooms rise to the heavens as horned shadows dance at the edge of an ancient forest. Suddenly, darkness falls. The images are eclipsed within a black void as it surrounds you. As it billows closer and closer like impenetrable smoke, as it rubs against your body like a cat, it is soothing, calming before devouring you! You swallow a thick lump of saliva and look around frantically. You. You see nothing unusual. You're in the barracks for agents about to be deployed on field work. A man is standing near you who looks worried. Having nightmares, huh, Cadet Yaroslav? Well, even yesterday's storm didn't wake you up. All uh, right, right, right. So take all the rest that you can before the mission. Uh, where am I? You pulling my leg? This is the ground level of Adam HQ. Let me guess. Next, you're gonna ask what year it is and what sort of war we had 20 years ago. Um, fine. Who are you supposed to be? Agent Alf of the Honey Eaters Brigade. Our leaders asked me to watch over you until your departure to make sure everything's a-okay. All right, so what should we do now? First, get some food into your system. There's some biscuits on the table. Then we'll think about what to do with you next. We still have some time before the briefing starts. All right, let's do it. That's the spirit. Knock yourself out on the biscuits. No soup, though. You slept straight through serving time in the mess hall. Honestly, it's not a big loss. Between you and me, it was kind of crap. Get a hold of our faculties, apparently. So there's a biscuit on the table. We can hold out to highlight it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go over here. Biscuits. Let me get my biscotti. I've got my biscotti. You yawn as you enter the next room and step before a closed door. The agent scratches his unshaven neck. Wasteland habits never die. Whenever I get under a roof or shelter, I always intend to barricade myself in. Like this door, for example. I locked it on instinct. Never even bothered to remember where I stashed the key. You take a look around for it? Alright. This is some kind of test, right? Well, if you struggle with opening doors, then yeah, I guess this is a test. Alright, well, let's go for it. We'll find ourselves a key. So we've got like a Nuka-Cola vendor over here. So you wonder if there's any atomic fizzy drink left inside there. We've taken a glass. Is there anything inside of here? Now uh, we've got ourselves a camo bandana. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. We need that bandanners. All right, so I'm putting on the bandanners. Yep, now we got the bandanners. That's what I can see. Now we look like a designated badass. That's what I'm talking about right there. We look ready for the mission. We look like operator. We're an operator now. We got some scrap metal. I guess I'll take that. I don't know if I can tinker or do anything with it, but I'll take it. We've got a coin. Okay. What did it say about the coin? Can be used to buy some atomic fizzy drink. Got a sharpening stone right there and a spoon. Okay. Normally in other games, I'd be like, yo, this, this spoon is stupid. I don't care about it. I 
I guess it won't let me. I want. It said I could use the coin to buy atomic fizzy drink, though. I was so excited about it. Uh, there's the key to the door, so that's good. Our porthole has been opened. And I don't open my porthole for just about anybody, okay? You gotta be special if I let you use my porthole. Uh, we got anything in the bathroom? Hey, there's some teepee. Definitely something to wipe our ass with. That'd probably be a good idea. Let's take that. That's a commodity in the future, man. Everybody needs the luxury of wiping the booty hole. So can I unlock this right here? Oh, I can unlock it. Nice. Okay, so there we go. We can't open the lock. Uh, what? Can I maybe drag and drop the key onto it? There we go. That's what I was thinking is it works like Fallout. Okay. There, the door's open. Let's get out of the barracks first. All right, go on. Let's get out of here. The graphics are pretty good. It actually looks a lot better than I expected. It's a pretty clean looking game. You take a deep breath. The air of assembly field is filled with the stench of machine oil and soldier sweat. Today, only you and your colleagues stand here. I'm gonna be honest with you, the Yaroslav. The waste are no jokes. You need to be prepared. You ready to do some training exercises before the briefing? Eh, I'll cope. We'll figure it out. Alright, so you head to the main bunker of Adam, where you'll be briefed on your first mission. Atom, a branch of the Soviet army created long before the war, caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals, we often send search expeditions into the wasteland. Not long ago, one of such expeditions, led by General Morozov, lost all contact with the base. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Otradnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemonye, codename Fidel. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city. So apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. The wastes are a dangerous place. Good luck, cadet. And let there be atom. Well, off we go, apparently, to meet with clandestine bartenders, like most adventures begin, with heavy drinking and interacting with people causing you to heavy drink. What a nice night we're having. It's so calm. Nothing can go... Man, don't say that. Why would you say that right now? Nothing can go wrong. Come on, bro. What kind of campfire is that? It's a very interesting campfire. Did we light a Yule log? Is it Christmas right now? Wait a second. What's that rustling? Bro, you better get your gat. Get that gun. Oh, a well-built man in his 30s emerges from the uneven shadows dancing around the campfire. He's dressed in a rusty or a musty khaki uniform. Listen, khaki man, what you got to say? Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. The man stops before you and rubs his hands as if to warm himself or show off a formidable set of brass knuckles on his left hand. You look like a tourist. Nice tent. Clean clothes with no holes or tears. And so much other stuff. <whistles> Must be difficult carrying such a load of stuff around. His face breaks into a smile. You know, me and my pals could help you. Well, not for free, of course, but for a very reasonable price. What do you say? You finally notice there's four other guys standing at the edge of the firelight. If you still had any doubt about what's transpiring, it's pretty clear right now you're about to get robbed. Um... Yeah, easy there. Maybe you missed it in the dark, but I'm not the kind of guy to be stopped by brass knuckles. He chuckles to himself while his accomplices burst out laughing. He's got moxie for his size. I like it. Listen, why don't you lie down and rest for a little bit? 
then you can beat the ever-loving crap out of us in your dreams. Damn. Well, that fight was over quick. Dude, you didn't even try to fight back. You just got, like, instantly bodied. Come on, bro. You're supposed to be, like, a special forces operator. I'd be willing to bet that a Navy SEAL or, like, a Spetsnaz dude would probably be okay against four other guys. Like, he probably, if anybody was going to make it, it'd be, like, the Spetsnaz guy or, like, the operator. They leave anything in my tent? No. They robbed me of every... Well, they left me a canteen. I mean, that's... Oh, it's empty. They drank all my water first. What a bunch of douchebags. Who does that? Who does that? Well... I don't much know. I don't know much, but I know I'm starving. Let me feed all I need to eat. All right, so maybe we'll kind of wander around this way, I guess, since we got openly robbed over here. And apparently are kind of like out on our ass. Hopefully our contact is still around. If we can find that guy, maybe we can re-kid out. Hopefully they sent us with a little bit of cash money Skrilla Cheddar Stacks, too. Here we are. At least we've got bulging biceps and triceps, so that's good. Who's this dude? Hey, who's there? Before you stands a strongly built man of about 30. He's wearing a weathered military jacket and holding a large gun. At a glance, he seems like the affable sort, but he probably welcomes some conversation. He's absently chewing a blade of grass, but upon seeing you, he livens up. Hey, comrade! Hello to you, too. The man coughs and spits out the grass and lets his rifle hang by its handmade leather strap. Nice to meet you. My name's Jan. May I ask what brings you to our village? Uh, I'm looking for someone. Someone who lives here? Not really. Okay, though, so how can I help you? Uh, did a troop of military types come through the village recently? You know, it's funny you asked. A whole squad passed through not too long ago. Can't say for sure if they were military, but there were some serious-looking dudes among them. Nice weapons and bad attitudes. They even had uniforms of a kind. Those guys are no joke, let me tell you. They bought some water, rested for a day near the walls, and moved on. I got to chatting with one of them. Nice guy. He was younger than the rest. He said they were on an expedition into the ruins, probably searching for pre-war tech or what remains of it. God help them. They seem normal enough, though. Where are those ruins at? He takes a look at your map, draws a small black cross on one spot. All right. It's not too far. Now, uh, let's see here. You got any good rumors? One passerby told me that the Waste is an old abandoned Boy Scout camp, but it's not entirely abandoned. All the Boy Scouts who were camped out there before the war are still there, and they've gone feral, and they worship the devil in secret rituals. He also told me they might not be Boy Scouts, but monstrous creatures that look like children in order to mimic humans. But that's just a huge load of bull, right? Listen, I'm not the guy to ask for rumors. You should chat other people up around the village and see if they know anything. All right. Sounds like a plan, man. What is that? Is that like a radio? What is that? I want it. Give it to me. We took a brick. Apparently, I have a brick now. Maybe I can use that as like an improvised weapon. Hell if I know, dude. Uh, what else we got going on around here? There's a bunch of stuff inside the house, but I'm willing to bet I probably can't steal it. Like, I bet you something bad's going to happen if I try. Before you stands an aging man with an old rifle in his hands. He looks at you with concealed interest. Hey there, ask questions and I'll get you answers. What are you guarding? It's the village treasury. We keep the taxes we gather here and use them for the common good. If you got any funny ideas, my friend, I'd recommend not trying them out. But I may be old, but I'm a good shot. Alright, cool. Uh, you got any rumors? They say monsters are seen south into the north. Spiders, wops, more dangerous stuff. I don't know whether they can breed. If they can, we're in trouble. Uh, what's new around the village? All is well with our head. There's no time to be lazy or sad. He's a great man and I believe in him. Alright. Oh man, who's this guy, the leader? Before you stands an old man in an old battered and clean jacket. He looks around 60, but hale and hearty for someone living in the wastes. It's possible his real age is closer to 70. His strict face is graced with a brush-like mustache. What do you need, comrade? Oh, he wants me to talk to other people. Okay, apparently I'm unimportant to him. 
You know, I was hoping you would maybe, like, leave so that I could steal all your stuff, but I guess not. What's up, barkeep? Before you stands a plump, red-faced man of around 25 with a neatly trimmed beard. He's wearing a white shirt with some rather short shorts. In his hands, there's a clean towel he uses to swat flies. Upon seeing you, he gives you a wide smile. Ah, customer! Welcome to the tavern. You travelers sure keep on coming. What do you mean? Well, you're here now, and not too long ago, an armed band came through the village. People with guns usually mean trouble in these parts, but they were nice and civil. Just like real army guys. Anything else? Not much more to tell. They didn't talk much. Our village head spoke to them about some issue, but they just left, so I don't think he was able to make a deal. They talked to our gate guard more than anybody else. Name's Jan. If you want to know more, probably talk to him. Any jobs you need me for? Talk to my sister. I'm a simple fellow. I can sell you beer or spirits. That I do gladly, but need something done around the house? Light bulb screwed in in her chair? Just give me a call, but save the more serious stuff for Katya. Okay. Looks like she's pretty busy right now, though. Telling expenses, planning the budget. You know, when Katya's busy, it's pretty hard to get her attention. Oh, but I just thought of something. You know what she loves? Making potions, tinctures, and spirits. Can't really understand why, but she's really into that chemistry stuff. Tell her I sent you to try out the latest tincture. Maybe you'll get a free drink and also a chat with her. Sly, huh? Pretty clever, right? Eh, you got anything else? I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to hear a little business proposal? Let's hear it. Simple matter, small job. What I need for you is to bring me a book I ordered. It's all the way over at Krasnamanamanimini. Abraham, the bookseller, has got it over at his store. I can't go get it myself because of my responsibilities at the bar. But I can see you travel a lot, so if you ever go over to Krasnamanamanimini, maybe you could pick it up for me? If you do, I'll be sure to compensate you for the trouble. All right, if I ever go over there, I'll get it. The bar hand, he hands you a small, thick square of paper. On it's written a formidable cursive into the words, The owner of this document, Radchenko VA, may obtain a copy of The Lord of the Rings by Tolkien, translated to Russian by Bobir, after handing over the receipt signed by Merkin A.D. Okay, is this Katya? Before you sits a young woman. She's deep in concentration, writing in a yellowed notebook with the word accounting on the cover. She is immersed in the activity and does not even notice you. Hey, your brother sent me over. He said you might have a tincture for me? She stops her calculations and stares at you. After a moment, she blinks and smiles and tucks a pencil behind her ear. Great, I doubt you've ever drunk anything quite like the new recipe. Well, not really new. More along forgotten. All right, let's try it out. She hands you something labeled Triple X. Drink up. You take a tiny sip. It's got a strange sour taste. You shrug and hand the bottle back. You don't feel intoxicated or nauseous. You feel that you should take another sip. Take the bottle back and have another. What harm can a few more sips do? Now your head begins to spin. Nothing unusual about that, right? You have full sensation in your limbs like normal. But then you feel them floating around as if the air suddenly turned to water. Your mouth is dry, so you wet it with another sip. From a distant place, you hear the girl calling to you, Don't do it! But, eh, you already did. The world around you stops. You also stop, but your mind is racing with thoughts which arrive with exceptional clarity and speed. Why are you here? Why am I here? Did I drink that stuff? Why? The sound of your own musings is to you like the roll of distant thunder. It's growing nearer every second. You suddenly comprehend that what you thought was thunder is actually footsteps. From out of a misty void, General Morozov appears before you. Looking for me, he asks, his voice like a hundred voices in one. You can't reply and you're frozen. Yeah, you're looking for me, says Morozov and takes your hand. Let's go. You walk through the gray mist together. Morozov in front, you in the back. The general's calm and assured. You have nothing better to do than simply follow him. Finally, the mist parts, and strangely, a beautiful sight appears. Mushrooms! Having arrived at an unreal primordial mushroom forest. Their huge trunks are thicker than the biggest oaks you've ever seen. Their tops spread like giant umbrellas obscuring the sky. The general continues to lead you onward, weaving his way between the massive mushroom stems. You tour through the fantastic forest stop suddenly at a truly colossal mushroom. The biggest one of all. This is God, says Morozov, but you can't see the general anymore because he's speaking from inside you. He's talking from your head using your mouth. You are Morozov. Suddenly the ground beneath your feet begins to shake and you lose your balance. It seems like an earthquake, but when the shaking stops, you look up and scream! For the colossal mushroom now has a face. Bow, orders the mushroom god, and you fall senseless. Your mind turns off. For how many hours? You don't really know, but when you finally wake up, you do not feel any of the usual symptoms of heavy drinking from the day before. What the? Hey, he's alive, Vasya! The girl is holding you up so you don't collapse completely. Your stability is returning as the tincture leaves your system. The bartender, swearing to himself, wipes the sweat from his brow. How you feeling? Pretty good, actually. It's a good thing you have such a hearty constitution. I'm sorry, I made the tincture a little too strong. It was stupid of me and I nearly killed you. I feel bad about it. She inhales and gives you a smile. We well, took care of your stuff while you slept. 
You check your belongings to discover you haven't been robbed. Miracles are real after all. I still don't understand why it turned out so strong. I used the recipe as recorded by Grandma. She says, speaking to herself. Anyways, we gotta have a talk. Better be sure your brain's completely recovered. Alright, that's a good idea. Uh, so, I'm looking for work. You got any jobs? Well, everybody's looking for work, so I'm afraid I can't help myself, but I could put a word in with you for Comrade Kovalev, our village head. He always has work to be done. Though he won't do business with someone he's never seen before, and recommending a stranger is kind of unprofessional. So help me with some chores first, and I feel better about the introduction. I'm ashamed to ask, but I need toadstools, and I have time to go get them on my own. You want to help me out? Five would do. They grow on the other side of the fence, not far from here. What do you think? Speechcraft! Failure. My family's respected, and I won't gamble our reputation on someone. I don't know. Fine, I'll get the mushrooms. It's fine. I'll go get them. God. I'll go get the mushrooms. Just chill. Just chill. I'll be I'll be your mushroom surf. Okay? We can do this. Is there anything inside this busted house over here? Yeah, let's go check out this house. You coming, little buddy? There he is. I just wanted to make sure he was tagging along right now. Can I go inside the porta potty? The porta pooper? Anything inside of here? Hey. What's going on here? Anything in the bed? see here the bed just for show I don't know man you're the one analyzing the location that's locked this one's not though it's open eh, some waste paper I guess I can equip the brick as a weapon maybe I don't know if it's a good idea though I can't get into that one right there can I unlock it hey I opened it nice is there a gun or anything in here Ooh, a water bottle that's good yeah I'll take that hell yeah we've got a hunter's memo it teaches you how to craft slug ammo for a zip gun. Nice. And some gunpowder. And apparently, a log. It's log. It's log. It's big. It's round. It's wood. Anything else over in this area? Hey, there's a toadstool right there. <gasps> there's a rat. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta equip my brick. Yup. Alright, so now I got a brick that I can swack this thing with. Let's go fight this dude. Let's go get him. Yup. It's on now, ratty boy. It's on now, bro. Yeah, maybe unselect that. So how many APs do we have? I have seven APs. I'm just going to pass my turn and let him come to me. All right, now smack this thing with a brick. I've only got a 28% chance to hit him. Weak, dude. Luckily, the rattling has also missed me. Eventually, we will luck out in the world of RNG and hit this thing. Come on. Yeah! 4 HP to the Rattling. He's now injured. Hopefully, fighting a rat is something that I can accomplish as a Special Forces soldier. If we can't pull this off, that just puts us in an all-around sad situation. Oh, come on, bro. Hit that thing. I wonder if the brick nerfs my chance. Yeah! Took his ass out. Mm-hmm. I am the king of war. Look upon me, wasteland, and despair, for I fear not. Now let's go check the crops over here. Maybe we can find something. Anything good in there? Looks acceptable, but first you need to plant crops. Oh, really? I can do some farming. Okay. Well, let's go get the toadstool real fast. Oh, there's a wasp over there. Weak, dude. Weak. So, like, if I take the brick off, I can punch... Does it, like, maybe... Oh, I can aim. Gotcha. Okay. Or I can go for a kick right there. Okay. I don't know what the better chance is, like, what I should be doing, but... I don't know if I'm strong enough to fight a wasp right now. Did I level up or anything off that? How many experience points do I need? 500? All right, I was just trying to get a sense for, like, how long it's going to be before I can do it. Do I have any money or anything? Like, no cash? Am I just, like, broke as a joke right now? I don't have anything. So I can make a zip gun if I have rope, wire, and scrap metal. That'd be kind of nice. I'd be down for that. And then I can make like a zip gun round if I have that other stuff too. Oh, okay. So we have like options. I see what's up. Okay, so we can like make things. All right. I'm not completely and totally useless, at least not yet. Is there another place I can search out here? Like I just need loot, man. That's what I need more than anything. Like, I need, like, a come-up. I need to make some cash. 
Before you stands an old man with a mustache. He's wearing a foreign tracksuit. There's a flat cap on his graying hair and hanging around his neck are some spectacles. He welcomes you with a firm handshake. Hey, hope the monsters didn't bite. Yeah, I had to fight a few. See, it's dangerous around here alone. There are monsters all over the village. This place is practically under siege. One thing is nice, they don't really attack on their own usually, or I'd have a hell of a time cooped up over here. With spiders, ants, rats, it's like they're symbiotic. A few more years, they're gonna have a political party. He lets out a mirthless laugh and eyes the surroundings as if looking for something. He then exhales and turns his head back to you. Anyways, see, I've got this fire going. If you have any canned food or tea, you can cook here. Use my pot, if you will, or just sit down and get warm. Uh, if you got a pair of dice, we might as well sit down and play for a while. I seem to have lost my own pair a bit ago, but I'm not much of a gambling man, so I think it's a fun way to spend time. Eh, I don't see anything over here. Doesn't look like he's got anything to, like, do or loot either. There's a piece of wood in the back of the car. Alright. Apparently I stole his photo and some empty bottles. Maybe the bottles have value someday. Can I have that log right there? I'm glad that none of these people seem to care that I'm just like rolling through haphazardly stealing their stuff. Like because it was going to happen either way. I don't care if I have to throw these dukes out here. I'll throw them. Another rat over there. Oh, there's two of them. Hold on. What did I do? Where's my character and what just happened? Oh, it looks like I don't really have much of a choice. Apparently I'm going to fight this guy right here. Uh, move back and then let him come to me. As I said, I don't know how much AP he has, but... Yeah, we can go for an aimed punch. Yeah, just aim for the body and see if he can hurt it. He's slightly injured. Alright, we'll go for another one then. Ow! My HP! Alright, give him another one. Aw, oh, lame, dude. I'm about to die, aren't I? I feel like I'm about to die. I definitely need a weapon. Oof. Bad luck is haunting us right now. There we go. One more damage. So he missed? Good. That's probably a strong thing. Hey, how injured is he right now? Is he pretty injured? Yeah, go for another body shot. There you go. He's got to be pretty badly messed up right now. It's almost dead. Okay, hit it one more time. Yeah! The king of combat strikes again. Uh, we've got nothing on the bee, but he was worth 25 XP, so that's pretty rad. There's a rat over there. I'm kind of wondering if I'm supposed to like fight all the stuff out here and get like a free level up or something. I don't know. Either way, this is Adam RPG. The reason you're seeing it right now on the channel is because they've got new content coming out really, really soon that they're working on. So anyways, this game was Kickstarter, and it seems pretty rad as of right now. Let me know if you want to see a little bit more gameplay by leaving a like on the video. Helps me out as a content creator and lets me know that you're engaged and that, like, things can happen. Oh, I've got a babushka scarf now. Apparently, I'm babushka-cated right now, if that's even a word. But yeah, let me know if you want to see a little bit more, and we'll give it a run, all right? Adam RPG, pick it up down below. How you doing? Take care, everybody.